Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at overlays in Adobe XD. So let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in XD and you can see I have two artboards on screen. We have a home artboard and a filters overlay artboard. And what we're going to do is make it so that when a user clicks on this filters icon, it will bring out this screen on the right as an overlay. And this is a new feature to Adobe XD. So just make sure you've got the latest update so that you do get this feature. And if you'd like to download these two screens along with the entire UI kit, there is also a link in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is just switch over to prototype mode and we can click on the filters icon that is going to activate this overlay. And same as in previous versions of XD, you just click on the blue tab, drag this to the artboard and you'll see a window appears. However, now we have an overlay menu so we can click on this and we get the same options for our overlay. I'm going to have this sliding out to the right. And you can of course adjust things like easing and duration as you normally can with transitions. But now we also get this green cross in the middle that indicates the position of our overlay. And we also have a green circle that I can click and move around. But of course I can't move this around because the overlay that I'm using is the exact same size as the artboard it's going to appear on. So if this overlay were a lot smaller, I would be able to move this around by clicking on the green circle and dragging all within the confines of that artboard. But you get a bit of transparency as well, which is really nice so I can see the position of it in relation to the artboard underneath. So that's really, really helpful. So with the home screen selected, I can now click play from the top right corner. And if I just scale this down so it fits on the screen, and then I can go and click on the filters icon and you can see the overlay slides out. So what we can do now is actually if I click on the overlay and go back into design mode, you can see at the moment that it has a white background as a rectangle just with a white fill. And where this feature really shines is you can do things like add background blur. So if I check this box, it's added some background blur with 40% opacity and 15 on the blur. Of course, there's nothing behind it to blur, so it looks like this as a standalone artboard. However, if I select the home artboard again and go play, and then click on this, you'll see as it slides out, it shows that artboard underneath. So whereas in previous versions of XT, you could kind of cheat it to create an overlay effect, this is a real overlay effect and this rectangle, this shape here, carries that blur effect over the artboard that it's going to appear on. So I'm going to actually bring this up to something like 85%. And let's play this once more. Scale it down. Click on the filters icon. And there you go, it shows that filters overlay. And you can see we have a nice subtle blur in the background as well. And there we go, that's a look at how to use overlays in Adobe XD. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.